Hey everyone, we are back to do our Aldi route. See how this does. Apologize if there's a little bit of extra noise. It's hot in here and it's such a nice day, I want to have the window open. Actually, even more so, have the window open for Onyx in the back. You can probably see him stick his head out. Go ahead and get it out of here real quick. That's something I, I would not expect the car to ever do, is kind of jut out and like, kind of get get in place. Um, so I think that is the correct way it should do this um, maneuver here. It should get in the far left lane and change lanes all the way over. Now it could definitely stay in the middle lane until way up ahead. It doesn't need to get all the way over in the right lane, but that's totally fine. Look, we have a sign that says left lane closed ahead. Um, so, I don't think the car would ever recognize that yet, but we're already in the right lane, so that's good. Oh, it's the far left lane. So that's not a problem. The only time you would ever be in that lane, the far left lane right there, is if uh, you're trying to make a U-turn uh, way up at this, if you can see the stop sign way up ahead. Uh, you may go and you turn to the left. When really the only reason you would get in that lane. Or of course, it used to be there's a fire station right here, which is no longer here. You can see, you can barely see Onyx's head right there. So this is good. Well, it needs to speed back up. I don't know why it's continuing to go slow right here. I'm not sure what what they're building right here, but it's gonna make this area look way different in this whole area. Okay, so it braked a little bit right there. It's that's I'm certain they tweak the, the you know the sensitivity settings um, between these point releases. I'm certain they do that, and now it's now it's so it's much more hesitant than it was on the previous build. Pretty frustrating that it does that um, because it just it ruins the experience. The experience was so good on 11.3.1, and now it's just it's phantom breaking more again, which it, it's nowhere near as bad as it was with 10.25.2, uh, uh, I believe it was. But it's still it just you know it has a lot of um, uh, what I'm trying to say a, a lot more, and so it, the experience. When you go backwards, it's, it doesn't feel as great. Okay, so I tried to brake pretty hard right there for some reason. Uh, I don't know if it's because I was about to get to our, um, our deadline right here or for some other reason. But yeah, I definitely had to press on the accelerator to keep him from heavy braking right there. That was a good turn. So actually, instead of um, going into Aldi, I need to pick up something from Lowe's. And so we're gonna turn right just a little bit before, and then I'll just bring the video back in the Aldi parking lot. But yeah, I guess that was, um, that was your disengagements, but they're definitely, it's seen, because of that hesitancy, it's, it's, it's worse. Um, keep in mind, it's much better than 10.25.2 but it's not as good as what 11.3.1 was for me. There seems to be a lot of hesitancy for some reason in this. It's sad that they bring that back. I'm, I'm almost certain it's a purposeful thing. And so we'll, we'll see what that does um, over time. Again, let me know in the comments down below and we'll see if you guys also experience that, that type of hesitancy. Um, I will, uh, at this point, I will bring you back once we are coming out of the Aldi parking lot. Okay, everyone, we are headed back out and see how it does on this turn if it'll let us enable it. If not, we'll have to wait. Or if not, we'll have to go through it manually. Yeah, it's not gonna. Okay, got it just in time. Okay, awesome. Not a lot of wine. Which 
Just in time. Okay. See how it does going going the rest of the way. This routes are getting so boring. I might I, I might not do this like for the point releases anymore. Unless I see like on the first drive, maybe unless there's something unique. Um, it's just because I think from your point of view, you tell me down in the comments. From your point of view, this there's like really is it worth doing the point releases? Because it's not a lot different for the major releases. Yes, I'm gonna redo this route. But for the point releases, it doesn't really seem, there's not a lot changed. Uh, like, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can hear my thoughts. Like, I'm going to probably post later about the Phantom Breaking. That's basically the only the only thing I've seen worse. Okay, good. It, 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 and what? <laughs> he needs it. Okay. It needs to make up its mind on what lane it needs to be in. Okay, so I'm working on that as a disengagement. It can't do that. It can't swerve back and forth between lanes. And that's that's also wrong. It says changing lanes to follow a route. The right lane is not the correct lane to get into the highway. And so it's getting confused. Clearly, it, it's trying to improve. That's that's the positive side of this, is that the neural, n new neural nets they're using on this version for planning is trying to improve. But through that disengagement and through me canceling the hopefully the lane change, um, it learns I'm like, hey, it was, I'm wrong, and now in future versions it'll use that data to correct itself. So that was definitely a disengagement. I could have, I'm searching, I could have gotten through without a disengagement. Um, but I just, that confuses people and it greatly increases the chances of some type of incident happening. Blinker again to get over him, which is good. Here, not sure what that guy is doing. Cars like that. Do people actually think those cars are cool? Like that, that. Like that's not like. I don't know. I mean, I guess if they like it, it's not anything that interests me. It's nice having a fast car that's silent for me. See how this on ramp is gonna do. Again, it's waiting to the very end, and it doesn't turn the blinker on. So that needs to be improved. It needs to just go ahead and get over, and it needs to turn the blinker on. If you saw my first video this morning, it did actually turn the blinker on getting onto the highway. So that was an improvement. However, it's still not doing it here. Not one time, I think, did it ever turn the blinker on on 11.3.1, and I don't think I, I never did a highway drive on 11.3.2. Uh, but yeah, so it's, that, in my opinion, needs to happen. Not, not like a, it needs potential to some safety issues, though. The person, the human can always override it. truck coming up and it looks further away in the back of camera there's a truck coming up here where my car just needs to get in the right lane is it gonna do it though and maybe it's not because of this merge right here it's possible that's why it's not doing it but it's gonna have to slow down and speed a lot here in a second but there here we go changing lanes passing out of passing lane I think the truck behind me got close enough now that it felt like it finally needed to get over. We also need to slow down. I like, I like to go ahead and pre-slow down before we get to the 55 so it doesn't slow down like all at once. Okay, everyone. So, last turn, and we haven't made it home.
It needs to still be more confidence here. It just needs to just go ahead and just zoom across. Uh, it's just so slow that I kind of get up the speed right here. It's smooth, but it just says, seems really timid. Otherwise, we got to one disengagement because of that swerving back and forth in the lanes, which I didn't like. Um, but otherwise, it was a uh, good drive. Um, but the only downside so far, the 11.3.3, is slightly more phantom braking, uh, which at least it's pretty obvious what was causing the phantom braking, like a car coming out from the side, you know, maybe a pedestrian or something like that. But it's overall, it's still better than 10.25.2. That's that's the important part. Uh, if you have questions for me, put them down below, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.